Today I have the Olight Warrior Mini 2, and this is upgraded. They took the original Warrior Mini, which needed a few improvements. They listened to some feedback from customers. They came out with the Warrior Mini 2, which is nice. It has some improvements, like hopefully it won't burn a hole in your pocket. And then they upgraded it now to this, and they came out with it in titanium. And this comes in four different colors, or earth elements, as they call these. And I have earth. There's also fire, wind, and water. Comes with this nice little playing card. There's the Earth Warrior. Kind of a neat little thing that comes with the light. But there's the box. The box always is true to size of the light. You can see right there. And here is the light itself. The light is kind of neat. You can see that around the outside there, there are some etchings sort of of Earth. And up there, kind of blue for the, the name. It's kind of a nice look to this light. Olight, as you know, they do a lot of unique things with their lights. They have some basic lights. They come in just basic black, you know, black lights matter. But if you want some new and different colors, Olight is great for coming out with a lot of these cool and different and unique colors. And then their lights, they put a lot of different unique features into them. A lot more advanced than I would have ever thought would happen in flashlights. And we'll take a look at this. So this one is a retail price of $139.95. However, flash sale price, $97.97, pick it up where you can. And for all of you Olighters out there, I've seen your crazy shelves with your collections. If you want to get all four colors, they do have a bundle price of $363.87. So pick them up in the flash sale where you can. If you don't catch the flash sale, I will put a link down below. You can get a 10% um, off coupon with my coupon code. And I think it gets your free shipping as well. So check that out in case you missed the flash sale if you're watching this sometimes later. Going over some of the basics of this light, the Warrior Mini 2 is upgraded in brightness from the original Warrior Mini. This now puts out 1,750 lumens and it will throw that 220 meters. This light has a good mixture of flood and throw. There's the lens there. We'll take it outside in a bit and have a look at it, but it's a nice medium kind of between the two of them, not super focused beam, not super wide beam. It's a good mixture of the two. It is made of titanium and they say it's titanium alloy in the instructions. So whether it means it's pure titanium or how much other metals in it, I don't know. I will say it definitely has quite a bit of heft to it compared to some other lights. You know, my i3T, which I carry a lot, I have that in titanium, that's super light, but you start getting into these larger lights in the titanium, they do get sort of heavy. And some people like that. I think it kind of exudes some of the quality of the light. But I will say this is a little bit heavier than some of the aluminum lights that they have. Just something to note. It does have magnetic charging on the back like so many O-lights. It comes with their proprietary magnetic charging cap. And you just put that onto the back. It will light up red while it's charging and then turns to green when it's fully charged. And some people don't like those proprietary charging mechanisms, but O-lights is so nice and it's on so many of their lights that if you have a couple O-lights, you probably just have it sit like I have one sitting in my kitchen and I just stick this right on it. It's charging. No problem. Same with like my, my O bulb. Where's the O bulb? You can't see the O bulb. It's behind the drum set there. But uh, same with my O bulb. I can just set it right on there and it, uh, it just you know, charges nice and easy. Let's just take a look at the light itself on the back. As I mentioned, that proprietary charging magnetic tail cap. Now you can tail stand this and this is magnetic, but you cannot stick this to things. It won't stick to like a magnetic wall or something like that. On the back here, there's this ring, and it does come with this carabiner of sorts. And you can take this and loop it into here, such that if you wanted to loop it through your hands when you're carrying it, through, through your finger there for some extra, you know, ease of carrying it or way to hold on to it through your, probably not your thumb, you could do it through your thumb, kind of whatever you want to loop it through, you can do that. The pocket clip is reversible in a couple different ways. The clip itself has the standard Olight reversible clip where you can clip it here or you can clip it here. And then you can also take this off. The original Warrior Mini did not have a removable clip or it didn't have a reversible clip anyway. You could take it off. You can take off this ring here and you could mount the clip up here if you want to carry it either tip up or tip down in your pocket. Going forward, there is a button on the side here that I'll show you and then the tip is crenellated, a little bit right there. And right in here, you can see there is a proximity sensor so that when the light gets down close to something, it does dim down some. Looking at the user interface, one of the things I really like about this from a tactical standpoint is you can have instant access to the turbo. And the tail button here has a half press and a full press. If you half press it, you get 
medium, and full press it, you get turbo. So full press goes right to turbo and it's momentary. Press it and release. If you tap it, it stays on. But if you tap it for more than a second or so, it's going to be momentary. If you wanted to sweep some rooms, it goes off. Or if you wanted to just half press to get that medium, you can do that. You can also change this to a sort of more tactical mode when it's on. Hold that here, hold down the side button, and now half press is going to get you turbo and full press is going to get you strobe. And to go back, you just again press that again. Now we're back to medium and turbo. So a couple different ways, different modes you can set this to depending on your use of it. Now the side button here, this is a little bit more of the everyday use. If you long press this, you'll come onto that turbo one loom and it'll do that for I think like 45 days. And then from there, it just ramps up the brightnesses. It'll go low, medium, high, low, medium, high. For many of those, if you wanna to get to turbo, double click and triple click will get you into that strobe and then back. It does have a lockout, so if you hold this down, it'll come on and go off and it's now locked out. To get it out of the lockout again, just hold it down, comes back on and now it works again. The side button right here will also act as a charge indicator. So when you turn it on, it will light up. You can see in this case, green. Green means greater than 60% charge. Orange is 10 to 60%, red 5 to 10%, and flashing red is less than 5%. You can also click it on to medium with the tail cap by just tapping it. And you can click it on to turbo by tapping it. So short press of the tail cap will turn it on to the different brightnesses, either medium or turbo. And if you hold it down, it is momentary, either medium or turbo. Now the light does have a proximity sensor, which is right there in the head. And what that does is when the light is on something bright, when it gets close, you can see it dims down. And then also, if it is close to something, if it senses it's close to something for 60 seconds, the light will just turn off altogether. So that way, if it does accidentally come on, for instance, in your pocket, it will eventually turn off and not set your pocket on fire. So some nice advanced features. They've come up with this in the Warrior Mini 2 that is a nice upgrade from the Warrior Mini. To listen to the feedback from the customers and they implemented that, which is always nice when a company does that. We are on moonlight, low, medium, high, really pretty bright. And then going up here on the house, turbo. Now you can see, now you can see looking at the beam profile of this really wide, a lot of spill off to the side. And this has a good mixture of floody area light and decent amount of throw. So this is a good combo light. Not a super thrower, not a super flutter. The head does start to get pretty warm here on turbo. You can see lit up green there, give you an idea of what the battery charge is. Really for most things, medium is going to be plenty fine and high, more than fine. You're probably realistically not going to need the turbo for that long and you only get it for four minutes anyway before it ramps down. So now just some brief overall thoughts on this light. I love that they upgraded the user interface on this to make it both a tactical and an everyday carry light because one of the problems I have is if I have a light that I wanna use in a tactical way, it's not great for your everyday carry and vice versa. Most everyday carry lights, you can't do momentary turbo if you wanna put it in that kind of use. And most tactical lights, you can't do the dimmer side of things in an easy everyday carry kind of way. So I love that feature of it. The only thing I would say I don't personally love for me about this is that because it is titanium, it's a little bit heavier, 4.3 ounces. I might prefer just one of the black aluminums just as a nice everyday carry light because these do get a little bit heavier, but it is a cool looking light with that titanium and the other colors are super cool as well. So check this one out, check out the flash sale of this. I'll put some links down below. The Olight Warrior Mini 2. Thank you.